hello class today i'm going to tell you about uh, canonical expression and uh, cardinal expression first i'll tell you about canonical expression okay uh, this this is just a boolean expression where we can uh, collect mean terms and max terms okay uh, in this canonical expression this canonical expression is divided into two forms it means we can express this canonical expression using two categories the first category or the first form is sum of product and the second form is product of sum hmm? the uh, sum of product and product of sum how can we uh, denote this canonical sum of product and canonical product of sum just today uh, we will see this point okay the first point in this canonical expression is s o p it means sum of product okay sum of product how can we denote this sum of product first thing what is this sum of product canonical sum of product the canonical sum of product means uh, sum of mean terms as earlier i have told you about the uh, mean terms and max terms uh, uh, the point mean term and max term uh, will be used in this uh, canonical sum of product or canonical product of sum the first point uh, sum of canonical sum of product in this canonical sum of product we will use min terms it means this sum of product is also known as <coughs> sum of min terms okay what is the sum of min terms or sum of product suppose uh, there is sum of product uh, there is some min term i am writing here suppose i am writing x x bar y bar z bar this dot dot it means here x bar dot y bar dot z bar it means this is in a, a product operation that's why this is min term as you know min term is the product of literals okay this is a min term okay suppose i am taking another expression like x bar y bar and z this is also in min term because here is product of literals suppose i am taking another expression like uh, x bar y z okay this is also in min term and another one is i am taking x y z this is also in min term okay this is in min term min term min term min term it means all these are in min term if i am using all these min terms with some sign then that composed expression is considered as sum of product like if i am using x bar y bar z bar okay this first expression then i am using plus again the second is x bar y bar z the th plus the third expression x bar y z and the plus and the last one is x y z here you can see x bar y bar z bar this is the min term x bar y bar z this is in min term x bar y z this is in min term x y z this is also in min term this min term min term min term min term and here this is plus 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 it means sum 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 it means sum 
of min terms this is sum of min terms you can see here this is in sum of min terms this expression it means this sum of min terms this expression is called or is considered as canonical sum of product canonical sum of product sum of product or we can say sum of min terms it is clear sum of product means sum of min terms if we use min terms using sum sign that will be sum of min term and that is this sum of min term is called sum of product okay same thing is used in pos pos it means product of sum this is also called canonical product of sum product of sum here the sum term is used it means you know the max term the max term is uh, the collection of sum of literals okay sum of literals is called max term so here we can say product of sum means product of max term okay and if i am using this uh, expression as uh, as a max term this is in min term but here if i am using this term as max term like x bar plus y bar plus z bar this is max term because sum of literals suppose the second i am using x bar plus y bar plus z bar this is max term the third i am using x bar y x bar plus y plus z this is min term uh, sorry max term if i am using x plus y plus z this is max term it means this is max term this is max term max term max term why this is called max term because there is sum sign and sum of literals are there that's why it is in max term and if i am using this max term using product sign that will be product of max term and that that, that product of max term is called product of sum like if i am using this max term like this x bar plus y bar plus z bar this is the first max term then i am using product sign that is dot and the another the next one is x bar plus y bar plus sorry x bar plus y bar plus z this is the second max term dot x bar plus y plus z the third max term and the last one is x plus y plus z okay max term dot max term dot max term sorry here dot will be there dot max term max term dot max term dot max term dot max term it means dot is you know dot is considered as product sign that's why we can say product of max terms this is product of max term product of max terms okay this is in product of max term this product of max term is called product of sum it is also uh, called canonical product of sum this is canonical sum of product this is canonical product of sum okay there are two types of expression sum of product and product of sum this sum of product and product of sum can be expressed using two ways the first one is canonical and the second is cardinal okay uh, this is the canonical form because here i am using the literal sign the literals okay here the literals are used here the literals are used that's why it is in canonical sum of product and canonical product of sum if i am using numbers instead of this literals 
then that sum of product or product of sum is called uh, cardinal sum of product and cardinal uh, uh, product of sum cardinal sum of product and cardinal sum of product okay how can we write that cardinal sum of product and uh, cardinal product of sum okay uh, let me tell you again this point this is canonical sum of product why this is in canonical uh, sum of product because literals are there okay here also literals are there that's why this is cardinal product of sum uh, canonical product of sum but uh, if we want to express this sum of product and product of sum in cardinal then we have to use the value the numerical value of this literals of this product then that expression is called or considered as cardinal how how it is possible suppose okay the first thing that expression i'm writing again here uh, the first okay i'm again writing here sop cardinal okay how can we write the cardinal sop the first my expression is x bar dot y bar dot z bar okay and uh, what is the numerical value of this x bar y bar and z bar first we have to calculate this uh, earlier i told you about uh, this bar and without bar if a literal is used directly without bar then that is uh, considered one and if a literal is used with bar then that is considered as zero okay one and zero without bar one with bar zero it means this is x bar i'm writing here x bar means that is zero okay then y bar this is also zero z bar this is also zero okay this is a binary expression zero 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 if there is zero 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 that is zero the second one was what was that the second one was x bar y bar z okay so i am writing here the second one x bar dot y bar dot z this can be expressed like x bar means 0 y bar means 0 z there is no bar that's why 1 it means this is considered as 1 0 0 this 1 0 0 this is a binary value 0 0 1 0 0 1 means 1 okay in last class you have already uh, studied this point how can uh, you calculate this how can we calculate this binary to decimal this is the binary form this is a decimal value okay the next one is uh, x bar y z and x, x y z okay the next one is x bar dot y dot z this you know now how can we write this 0 1 1 bar is 0 there is no bar that is 1 z 1 it means 0 1 1 0 1 1 it means the decimal value will be 1 2 it means 3 okay and the last one is x dot y dot z this is there is no bar no bar no bar it means 1 1 1 the value will be 7 you know you can how, how, how it will be calculated you know okay 1 1 1 means 7 okay now this is the max term max term max term this is in literal form and the uh, value of this max term is 0 value of this max term is 1 value of this max term is oh sorry sorry, sorry. the value of min uh, mm, this min term this is in min term no? the value of min term is 0 min term is 1 the value of min term is 3 the value of min term is 7 okay now we have the numerical value of all this min term or all this product sign if 
I use this value instead of this value then that expression is considered as cardinal sum of product how can we write this cardinal sum of product because all these numerical value uh, is calculated with uh, uh, these literals using these literals then we can write the value like uh, x comma y comma z it means all these value is calculated with all these three literals okay with these three literals with the here the uh, bar or without bar it is there but uh, using these three literals we have calculated all these calculations okay now using these three literals we have the value this 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 it means the, uh, and we have to calculate the sum of product sum of product so there is need to express the sum and the sum can be expressed or the sum is denoted by this sum sign okay using this sum sign we can write the numerical value it means 0 comma 1 comma 3 comma 7 okay it means if i am writing this then this is called cardinal sum of product if i am writing this then this is called canonical sum of product okay same thing we can use for product of sign product of sum product of sum now we have the value and if i want to express this value in uh, product of sum cardinal product of sum then we can write x comma y comma z is equal to and product the mathematical product sign is this this is not a pi this looks like pi but it is not pi this is product sign using this product sign we can write the value 0 comma 1 comma 3 comma 7 okay this is product of sum cardinal product of sum and this is can cardinal <coughs> sum of product okay this uh, cardinal uh, sum of product and this is cardinal product of sum okay but uh, if we we will you if we are uh, using same table then uh, the sum of product and the product of sum the value of sum of product and the value of product sum product of sum will be different if you are using same table okay here this is just an example that's why i'm using same value but this will be changed if you will use same table mind this point if you will if you will use same table the sum of product value will be differ will be different uh, or the sum of product value uh, will be uh, differ with uh, the with the product of sum okay okay this is the uh, expression sum of product and product of sum cardinal sum of product and uh, cardinal product of sum canonical sum of product and canonical product of sum okay in next class i will tell you how can we use this uh, sum of product and product of sum or how can we convert the sum of product into product of sum or product of sum into the so, uh, sum of product and there will be some expression we will see how can we uh, change the uh, expression the um, different types of expression okay thank you